during the seasons uh, because you got Halloween. The, the, uh, this is the first of October. Halloween is uh, in, in uh, 29 days or is it th no, 30 days, sorry. 30 days. You got Halloween coming up in 30 days and you got Thanksgiving coming up. What are some of the tips that people can do to eat healthy during during a whole, during this uh, snack binge, I call it. Um, what can people do to eat healthy? And uh, can you give us uh, can you give us some some tips on that? Go ahead, Christine. Uh, I do think that it's going to be difficult uh, to eat healthy, uh, but I think the um, most important thing is what I've said before: is everything in moderation. So mm -hmm. instead of eating your full meal, maybe cut your portions in half and eat only half and then let eat slowly and let the food settle in your stomach because mm -hmm. it takes about 20 minutes for your you to start from your first bite that you take for it to start you, your yeah. stomach to start feeling full mm -hmm. so eat slower and you just wait it out a little bit you know maybe you won't be as hungry and then you'll be able to eat mm -hmm. those smaller portions and so mm -hmm. you know i think that's probably the main tip is, is to just control what mm -hmm. you're eating and don't mm -hmm. binge right and also um what's the People, as amazing how people do not do not know how. You know, with 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 kitchen fires going on with with Thanksgiving here, about you know once in a while you hear about a um a house uh um you know house fire with Thanksgiving is as sad as fortunate as sad as unfortunate. Um, what can people do to actually make sure? That they do not overcook or they not burn the uh, burn the oven to get to, to have a uh, kitchen fire. What's the proper temperature to cook a turkey for people who do not know how to cook a po turkey properly? And what things can people do and besides besides going to the internet and and doing research? Uh, what book? What kind of cookbook would you would you recommend to them? And uh, do you have any tips for those kind of people who are just beginning learning on their own how to cook a turkey from the from the very first time? What tips can you give them? Good question. Uh, well, I think every kitchen should be equipped with a fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. That's up to date. That's the most important. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, actually, uh, my family we uh, tend to fry, eat fire our turkeys because I'm from the south, and that's kind of what we do. So we always do that outside. Uh, and I actually have a recipe for deep fried turkey in my cookbook, or you can find it online at my blog at theblindcook.com if you search for mm -hmm. uh, deep fried turkey or or something like that. That recipe should come mm -hmm. up, and it's that's important to do that outside and be able to control the uh, the oil and you know get help when mm -hmm. needed um, for roasting a turkey. I don't necessarily do that in my household. We the last Thanksgiving and this Thanksgiving. We tend to cook a lot of turkeys because we do it for all of our friends and we do it for our family. And for our family, we will use a technique uh, called sous vide where it's kind of cooking it um, in a water bath with a slow controlled temperature. And that's, you know, that's fairly healthy and it's uh, it always turns out like turkey to be very mm -hmm. juicy every time. And so there's always different methods to cook it. And I know that roasting it is the traditional way, but, you know, honestly, I haven't roasted a turkey in over a decade. <laughs> Really, I'm a I, I, I like cooking. I like cooking in the oven and throwing it in there. I like throwing a bird in there, and cooking it for uh, was it four, four, 450 degrees or was it was that 450 or 475? I think is what it is. But you just cook it in there. You make it five, five to it depends. You know, anywhere between. It depends how how big a turkey is. Like last year, we had an 18 pound turkey. It took us almost six and a half hours to actually cook the thing. Make sure it was it didn't get burned. And it did not, uh, uh, it, it did not uh, get get over dried either. That's one thing you got to. That's one thing too. You have to be aware. Of. Don't over. Don't dry it. Don't dry it out. Just keep it nice and moist. And those are the those are the key tips that people need to do. And they and how to make a proper turkey, you know. Uh, and uh, I like cooking the old fashioned way, throwing in the oven. And the best turkey is to go to far. If, Foster farms, believe it or not, the best the best one because it's fresh, and it's natural, and it's uh, and it's naturally and it's and it's uh, um, and it's locally grown here, believe it or not, it's locally grown. So um, that's that's probably the that's probably the best bet, right? Go ahead, Christine. I mean, yeah, I think anyone. I mean, they say like to get wild turkey or fresh turkey mm -hmm. is probably the best, but there a lot of times it's frozen turkeys, which is fine too if that's what you can afford and. And if that's what's available, that's you know mm -hmm. that's fine. Just I do think that it's important if you're roasting a turkey to control the temperature, and then when you take it out of the oven, 
to keep it moist. You don't want to carve it right away. Uh, you want to wait a long time uh, before you carve it. I would say at least 20 now. minutes. You can even let it sit for up to an hour out on the counter. That's yep. when all the juices kind of flow back in through the meat, and then that's where it's going to retain its juice, because if you carve it right away, all the juice will just pour out, and then you're, you'll lose a lot of juice in your turkey. Yeah, it's just really...